Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Succulent Garage. My name is Scott, if you don't know. Thank you so much for joining us today. I have a short video for you today. I know you probably noticed by looking at the title, I got some Korean imported succulents. I'm trying to get some more rare stuff, not the common things that everyone has. And I found this really cool nursery out in Garden Grove, California called Mimi's Nursery. So um, I placed an order with her today. For those of you that are unaware, Korean imported succulents are usually demanding top dollar. So I went with something a little more price conscious. So we're gonna do a little box opening and see what they look like. Come along with me, let's go. Okay, we're back. Let me get my knife. This is my trusty box opener here. Um, as you can tell, we've got cameras right up here. We're gonna open this box up and see what these look like. I'm pretty excited to see this. They came pretty early. Um, I'm, I'm happy with the shipping. She did a great job shipping them out pretty quick. So from Garden Grove, California to Florida took a couple of days um, packed really nicely as you can see let me straighten this out she's got lots of packing in here just like the other ones oh I'm super excited about this so we've got Looks like four or five. I'm not really sure. I'd have to look this up and what, what exactly I bought. But this first one, um, wow. So what we got instead of the normal, you know, million dollar looking succulents that are typically, I, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, these Korean succulents usually go for somewhere around 100 and up. Um, I've got a cutting that had some damaged leaves. It does have some roots. I'm, I'm trying to get all the uh, packing material off. She did a good job packing them. They, they uh, handled the shipping really well. Actually, a little better than some of the other stuff that I've got. Um, I knew they were damaged. She showed me good pictures. Um, they came exactly as they were shown. Can you guys see this? There's one. I'm gonna go this way. This one right here. I'll be posting the name because I don't really know what these are offhand. I know I have a pink witch, I have a King Kong, um, I've got something else in here too that I, that I wasn't completely familiar with, um, but um, I'm pretty happy with having something different that I can't get anywhere at my local nurseries. So ordering it online has been a big help. Again, this is from Mimi's Nursery in Garden Grove, California. I'm gonna give her a shout out. If you guys are not familiar with her, you can find her on Facebook. I, I don't think she has a YouTube channel yet, and um, make sure you tell her that Scott from Succulent Garage sent you, and hopefully she'll take good care of you like she did to me. These have great roots on them. I'm pretty happy with that. Like this, this one has some excellent roots. I feel like these are just gonna like take off as soon as I pot them. Um, again, that's probably gonna be another video, but um, oh, this has to be the Pink Witch. I, I feel. It's got a whole lot of pink on it. Um, you guys can see all the pink on here. These are very cool. I hate the packing, but it's necessary. And uh, again, she did a great job packing. So there's, hopefully you can see that. You guys see that up top. All right. That's it. This one's a really nice one. I feel like this one is going to grow right into, it's got some new sprouts, some fairly new roots. Looks very cool. Let 
Oh, we've got more. There's more stuff in here. Here's one more. Let's see. There, oh, this looks like something broke off and this one didn't do so well. This one had a, uh, a stem break off, which we will propagate out. You guys know how I go. I will get these things propagated. Yeah, this one, this one was on the bottom. A lot of leaves broke off. It um, didn't fare very, very well. But again, oh, this one's, this uh, stem broke. feel like it's okay though. When they're not smashed beyond recognition, they do pretty good. They do come back. They will regrow. I am going to leave that one. I'm not sure which one this one is again. Go this way so you can see that. Show that to you guys. Yeah, this one, it's got, the uh, stems on this one are a little different. So it looks like it, it took it a little harder. And I think that's it. There were three. All right, there was three. And there's some more stems in here. I gotta make sure those are pointing up. Um, that's really important, guys, if you're gonna repot. You gotta make sure that the stems are facing the right direction and they're not upside down. I don't know if you can propagate from leaves, but this one, man, this one is, uh, there's some stuff everywhere. We're gonna keep looking in this box for extra goodies. Like I said, this one, uh, hmm. Look at the stems, another stem. This one has a leaf on it. That should help me. Put them in the right direction. I don't know if you can propagate from, from leaves. I don't know that much about Aeoniums. Um, I'm really just getting started with them. And um, like I said, I didn't want to drop $100 on something I wasn't completely familiar with. So this is a good way to get started into that area. With, with a little less expensive, I can, I can watch it grow, I can see what it does, and kind of keep an eye on it. So, that's what I got for you. Let's try and, uh, I'll just do these two real quick. These, these look really good. I feel like these are gonna pop, bounce back really, really fast. Um, I'm gonna get them potted up, and um, we'll show you what they look like when they're all done. All right, we'll be back. Okay, so I finally got the plants all potted up. We're back. Um, am I happy? Yeah, I'm pretty happy. I just wanna see them grow. Um, I feel like for the most part, they handled the trip very well. Um, Aeoniums, from what I know, and again, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, they don't ship very well. The leaves get damaged really easy. They get, you know, a little mangled up and it takes them a lot of time to recover from that. So, you know, what I see here and what you see here is not going to be what they look like when we're done. So let me get started with how I potted them up. I use terracotta pots for everything. I feel like for succulents, that works the best for me. I also make my own succulent mix. I will have a video coming out very soon about my succulent mix, how I make it, um, how I came up with my recipe, and um, I'll show you how to do it as well. It's a lot cheaper than going to buy mix elsewhere, although there are some great options out there. So I'm gonna get you started with all of the broken stems first. I put all the broken stems in one pot. Here, you guys can see it from up top. I can't really like tilt it sideways because I don't want it all to fall out, but I put five stems in a single pot and I am not watering these for the next 
I don't know, probably five to seven days. Um, I might wait a week, we'll see if we have any new growth. If there's some new growth, that tells me that the roots are sprouting and these are starting to thrive or live, I should say, because they're, they're still alive, but there's no roots on any of these in this pot right here. So we'll see how they do. Up next, I believe, not sure, that this is the pink witch. This one right here. Pink witch up top. There she is. So, um, for the pink witch, this one had so many broken stems and broken leaves, um, but I'm just leaving them on there and see how they do. Succulents bounce back very easily. This has roots. I'm gonna give it a couple of days to settle in before I water it. Um, it will do just fine. A lot of the leaves that are intact are doing okay. Um, they're still full of water and you can tell that they're going to be all right. So again, none of these are gonna get watered for at least two more days. Let them get settled into their new environment under the grow lights. I'm not sure exactly where I'm gonna put them yet. Um, I just wanna find a good spot where they're under the lights and they get full sun. Um, coming up next, we have, let me just look at my phone real quick because I'm not really sure. This may be the King Kongs. I don't know if these are both King Kong. I, I, I honestly, I got a pink witch, two King Kongs and one Hung Yang. I don't know what they are. Um, I feel kind of stupid, but this is my first time with these Korean imports and I'm waiting for Mimi to get back to me and I'm sure she will. She's been great so far. Um, and uh, here that is. This one is here up top and here. These fit really nice in these shallower um, terracotta pots. And then this is the bigger one. Again, I think this is a King Kong also. You can see from the top, this one has a, some growth out to one side and you guys can see it here, out to one side. All of these have decent roots. So I'm gonna just give them a couple days to get used to being in a pot again and we will plant them up. I'm gonna do this so you guys can see what we have. I'm gonna try and get them all, all into the uh, frame real quick. And there we have it. This is what you get for $50 worth of Korean imported succulents. I'm pretty happy with a lot of them. Um, again, like I said, this one, this one is impressive to me because it's really not that bad. I feel like a lot of this is going to pop and um, and come right back into shape. So I'm 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 really looking forward to this one. Um, I feel like I had to give it a separate like a different type of terracotta pot because it was a lot longer than the others and it had a lot more root growth. So I feel like once these are settled and they get watered, um, they're gonna just spring back into shape. Uh, these little ones, you guys can see the tops, they're all empty. There's nothing on there, no leaves, no sprouts, no nothing. So once we see growth start from there, I know that they're rooting and that they're actually coming back to life and they're gonna be just fine. So once again, these are Korean imported succulents, Korean aeoniums. And I gotta, I gotta look at this because I, I don't know. A pink witch, two King Kongs, and a Hong Yang. That's what, that's what we have here. Um, I may have mixed in that one pot, this one here with all the stuff in it. I may have mixed them up. I don't know if that was a single. I don't know if that broke off of one here. I, I honestly have no idea, but uh, I'm still pretty happy with it. I think they're gonna look nice and um, I'll give you an update pretty soon. Give me another uh, month or two and we'll uh, update and see what they look like. And then they are off to one of my friends. Um, she's getting a couple of these just for her and uh, we should be good. So thank you again for joining me. I appreciate it. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified of any future videos I upload. I'm going to try and upload one every single week, at least one, and uh, keep you guys updated on to the status of the Succulent Garage, the website. We're going to have uh, its own Instagram page. 
We're gonna have uh, maybe a TikTok, I don't know. You guys like TikTok? Comment below what you think I should have for social media for this. We do have a Facebook page. Um, I will post that in the comments below. I will also post how to get a hold of Mimi at Mimi's Nursery in Garden Grove, California, and she can hook you up with some Korean succulents. She has some beautiful ones. They are like just phenomenal. And um, if you're willing to put up the little extra cash for those, you will have something that no one else can have. So thank you very much again. Hope you guys have a fabulous day. Take care.